and now we're live. Hi, June. Hi. So June just walked in with her mother, and June is 12, and she said she was a doll collector, and immediately I was like, what? Because we don't get very many young doll collectors, and I love it. So June, you're tuning into a lot of people right now who are doll collectors, and you're... Um, you loved dolls your entire life. Can you tell yeah. us a little bit about that? Um, so when I was little, like I always brought toys and Barbies and stuff to school every single day. And at first it was normal because like all of the other kids also had their backpacks filled with toys. But then when it started getting to like fourth grade, um, I would still bring toys to school and everybody would just kind of like, why do you have so many toys with you? And then middle school, like everybody immediately like stopped, like nobody liked toys except for like a couple of my really good friends, like my best friends that I knew. Um, we would like make a secret club. We had a secret club where it would be playing with dolls, but nobody would tell anyone. And so now I was, <laughs> I've been kind of like, collecting more it's not really a big collection and so i was looking for places to like buy my first real like antique doll besides the ones that i've been given and so i come here and we were talking about like the dolls that i have in my collection and she comes out with this like bag full of madame alexander dolls and tells me i can have all of them and so i'm kind of like really freaking out right now but oh, you're so sweet I'm like and she's you're so nice um but yeah so it's kind of hard l having like that and then now like when my mom says she was a kid uh that it was normal and like when you were 12 to play with dolls because I was still a kid but now with like technology and stuff kids seem to like tr th try and mature faster yeah. And so everybody's like, oh, I've got a phone and I'm playing video games instead of like, oh, no, I don't have any toys or anything. But if you come over to the, your house, their house, if you open like any of their closets, you'll probably find a bunch of toys that they put away before anybody came over. Right. So it's a lot of like fear for a lot of people is like, oh, I don't want to get judged because one person decided they didn't like dolls anymore. So everybody else decided that they had to pretend. Yeah. And I think a lot of us um, have uh, felt that where we didn't want to post our dolls maybe online or on our fake Facebook pages because we were afraid of what other people might think. But I told you when you walked in that I am 33 years old mm -hmm. and I have this big, wonderful, marvelous shop yes. and I run doll conventions and I hang out with a lot of amazing people that love dolls. So you're in a, the right space and yeah. a lot of people that are watching right now are they dedicate their lives to dolls this is a big thing to do right mom mm -hmm. yeah so doll doing dolls is one of the best things that you can possibly do in your life and june i am here to tell you that armed with your love of dolls anything is possible thank you anything you found your tribe i yeah. know i i've been like like there's always online tribes and stuff but it's a lot of just adults so it'd be weird if like a little kid like messaged them online like oh i love your dolls honestly like there that. are a lot of great groups out there um and you're you're very mature and mm -hmm. the love of doll collecting knows no age it knows no boundaries it knows no it, it there's no there's no boundaries with dolls so it's you can really get started and have a great time. These are um, 1980s, 1990s Madame Alexander dolls. So these are not the early ones, but people bring me dolls all the time and they say, can you just get these to a really good home? And so I hold them back and then I give them to really good homes when the opportunity arrives. So then when you walked in, oh, we need to put her head back on, which we can show you how to do that. Little Women doll, which I'm like obsessed with Little Women. I just saw You're the tag. Little Women? I yeah. love Yeah, and I think that's what this because it says the tag is little women but um like I've always been into like older dolls so we go to a store and there'd be Barbie dolls but then there'd also be strawberry shortcake 30th anniversary like these dolls and I always get those ones and I'd always have rag dolls and like older stuffed animals more than I used some of the newer ones even though I would obsess over them for like three days and then um 
and so yeah I always like love the old things and so I used to take um I like even recently I'll take my newer dolls and I'll paint their faces and like try and make glass eyes out of beads and stuff to right try and make on. them more like older dolls mm -hmm. so what is your favorite kind of older doll um well, for, like, I don't really know a lot of brands. Mm -hmm. I do like China dolls, um, which is the ones that I have from my great-grandmother and uh, one that I got online. But then, like, I like the Madame Alexander dolls, the new ones, and, like, the older ones a little more. And then the ones with the teeth are, I think, my favorite. I, like, honestly, I don't know that many brands or, like, right. names for them. But I like ones, like, uh... Like the ones that kind of look like little kids, mm -hmm. because the I big just ones like, like that. Yeah, the ones that look like toddlers or little kids or babies and stuff like that. Um, Do you like projects? Yes. You like projects? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So I'm going to get something, and I'm not. Okay. Here we go. All right. Hang on. My mom just said she wants to show my room and like all the projects. Oh. Whoa. This one is so pretty. So you can have her. Yeah, no, you can have her because she's a great project. This is an antique doll, and she's a great doll for you to start out with. You're she spoiling me. Eyes. Well, it's, you, you don't understand how cool it is for us and for doll collectors like all the people that are watching to meet somebody that is young and so excited about dolls. And when we meet people like you, we want to help you continue to love dolls and to do dolls all the time. Thank you so much. You're so I just, welcome. Like, love well, we're gonna. Yes. Well, she, so and she has some issues, and yeah. so she needs to go to a good home. Her body has been fixed and stuff like that. But if she gets a fabulous wig, and a great outfit, and some shoes, which, I love sewing. Oh, especially you love like sewing? older, like again, like old stuff, like old older style dresses and stuff like that. So this is gonna be really fun. I'm like You're gonna have dying, fun. she looks just like her. Oh, you'll have fun with her. So she's 1900s era, German. Let's see who she's made by. Um, so we just look on the back of the head. And she, so she has a hairline where you can see it right there, mm -hmm. um, which I do not mind on dolls. Um, yeah. it, it of course decreases their overall commercial value, but they are great dolls to fix up and to give to new homes. So the AW is by Wizlizness. I believe it's Alfred Wizlizness, and it's a German company. Okay. So she is a great little starter doll for you. Her size is wonderful. And Can then you, you have the all the articulation. Those... Oh, yeah. So this is what's called a ball jointed um, body. So if you pull out her, and we just strung her, so she's newly strung, but you can see where there's balls in her joints. So she. Um, is articulated so you're gonna do such a great job Thank with her you so much. You're so welcome. Oh, I need a get mom We need wigs. We need all sorts of stuff. Oh, yeah I Well, we got like, wigs too, so we're gonna yeah. we're gonna sign off and look through the wig drawer. You're so nice you're, Well, hey, um, you're a, there's a lot of people watching that are cheering for you and um, This is this is not a commercial for me This is a commercial <laughs> for you because we want you to feel supported and to know that you're doing the right thing by following your passion about dolls um, so anybody who's watching that's younger or anything like that, if you really like them, then you should probably get into it because, or go to a store even to look around because that's what I came to do and now I'm getting spoiled and I get, <laughs> and I'm getting all of these amazing things and meeting these amazing people that like, I'm starting to look up to now. Oh, and that's so, so sweet. Well, yeah. we're so glad you came in. And believe me, when, when you see this video, a lot of people are going to be commenting. And um, you're going to see that, that there's a lot of people out there that just want you to keep doing this. Because it's the funnest thing you can possibly do in your life. Yeah. If right? you're into it, then like go ahead. Because if you're following your passion, then you can do great things. You, if you're following your passion, you can do great things. Yep, that is right. So look, we're going to go through the wig drawer and find a wig for this big mama jama and yeah, um, like, we're going to sign off. We hope to see very more, a lot more of you in the future. Bye. Bye, June. Bye.